everyone, it's Becky with Becky's Feathered Nest. This is a video on how I organized our medicine cabinet. It is what we call the apothecary, located just outside of our master bedroom in a hallway uh, in a little built-in uh, nook. So uh, coming on down, you'll see the built-in. It has three shelves. I'm currently, or I have been looking since we moved here, baskets to fit in there. I want it to have four baskets on each shelf and a little bit taller um, and I do not want to see through it like you can see with these wire baskets but this is a uh, temporary hopefully and if I uh, ever find those baskets I'll do a redo on this video but uh, let me quickly go through the first one has vitamins the second one has um, diabetic and prescription type diabetic uh, prescriptions the uh, other one next to that has ear, eye, nose, mouth, and throat. And in the back of that, I have a bag with stomach, such as Pepto-Bismol and that sort of thing, because I don't have the four baskets. So that one's temporarily sharing. Uh, then down below, I have skin. It has tea tree oil, uh, some sunscreen type stuff. Um, then my prescriptions and non-prescriptions, but doctors want me to take uh, such as my turmeric, calcium, and uh, other uh, vitamins and stuff. Uh, then cold and allergy. And then coming down below that, there's pain relief uh, with aspirins, that sort of thing. Um, Band-aids and first aid, which is right here, but I'm gonna, I pulled that out so I can show you the inside the, the box. And then over here is sterilized. There's uh, hydrogen peroxide spray, uh, rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, uh, alcohol pads. In the back, I have a little bag, uh, a little box with the little rubber sterile gloves um, in, in the back in case those are needed. And then this little case I've purchased at Walmart in their crafting section. It kind of looks like a little toolbox. Um, and it's where I just keep a, a grab it and go type uh, stuff, uh, a little container of um, Neosporin. These are all just regular sized and type band-aids. Down below, I purchased these uh, bags at Hobby Lobby. They use them for jewel beads, jewelry type things, I, I believe. Uh, just crafting bags is what they are. And these all have specialty type band-aids. So, all the band-aids that are like this are in this bag. Um, I just open up one of the packages and then adhere it to the to front of the bag and then put those band-aids inside. There's um, bags with the um, butterfly band-aids, the waterproof type band-aids, um, the extra large band-aids. These are some cloth band-aids uh, or what they call fabric uh, band-aids. So, those are all specialty type in there. <clears throat> and this box normally just goes in right here. <clears throat> okay, and then over here on the door is a piece of Velcro that I keep different tools. Sometimes I use a marker. Um, let's, uh, sometimes maybe if I'm taking an antibiotic um, and then maybe also something for cough or, or whatever. On the lid, I sometimes will mark it just so it's larger and I can see by looking at it without having to get my glasses on and read the little label as to what it is. Um, so I will just mark on the, on the lid uh, antibiotic or um, cough or something like that. Anyway, and then different tools that we use for doing things like getting splinters out and that sort of thing. Scissors for cutting maybe a piece of gauze or whatever, some tweezers for um, um, you know getting splinters out and I just stick a little piece I always put the soft side on the tool and then the rough side on the door and see if I can do that through the camera lens a um, thermometer just another little tiny pair of scissors right here is just a, a small container this is just left over from some sort of food or something I've had this forever so I don't even remember what was in it but I removed the lid and then stuck it on with Velcro. Uh, so when I come in here to get a Band-Aid, I can just toss the trash in there and then empty that when needed. A little container of Ipecac also on Velcro. Everything on the door is Velcro. And then down below, I have a drawer. These are some extra towels just in case. Um, sometimes I will lay that under, mostly when, when I had children, but lay a towel under them or 
or something like that. Just I know I've needed them uh, towels. So um, when someone gets sick. So anyway, I've uh, got those in there, and then um, down here is uh, Kleenex. I keep different types. These are the squishy kind uh, in the bags. These are just regular size boxes, the little skinny boxes. These are the purse size uh, Kleenex uh, containers. And then these are anything to do with pills, pill minders, pill cups, um, medicine, you know, little cups, um, that sort of thing in here. And then over here are, you know, I have to have those vomit bags. These are the little vomit uh, cups, whatever they're called. Um, these are leftover vomit bags from when I had cancer, so I saved them uh, because they might come in handy. And then these are what I call fever cloths. They're just washcloths, you know, for placing on a forehead or something um, to, you know, help, you help little ones or help you feel a little better. These come out of um, stuff like um, maybe my turmeric. Uh, a bunch of the uh, medicines come with these little silica packets. And so when I am uh, empty that container, I go ahead and put it in here. Uh, because it's convenient, but I save them, and I have not had to use them for this purpose, but I saw, I think on Pinterest, um, that if you save these packets, and if you ever have an accident with your phone, say it got left in the rain, dropped in water, whatever, you can put your phone in a baggie filled with these, and it's supposed to help dry your phone out. I don't know if it works or not, but they're there just in case. Um, and then in the drawer below that, I have heating pads, uh, different type braces. There's ankle braces, wrist braces, here's a little finger brace, that sort of thing. And then I have like the icy hot packs, that sort of stuff. And then in here, these are just a bunch of little miscellaneous uh, pieces that I have used um, when sick. Uh, I haven't used the little scalp massager. Someone gave me that, I think, and that's the only place I thought it would pertain to. So. Anyway, and then I have a little um, case here that has gauze and tape, and there's a little pair of scissors in there. This is a little um, child's bear that you uh, place uh, the little ice pack or heat pack in there that they can hold on to, and then a little lap blanket. And then in the drawer below that, I have our foot soaks. Uh, right here, the little tubs for the foot soaks. And then I did keep um, my cancer wig, shampoos, and that sort of stuff. Um, I am in remission, but you never know how long you're going to um, stay in remission, so um, I don't want to have to purchase all that again. It's quite expensive, uh, so I just keep it in a little bin down here in this bottom drawer. So anyway, that is the apothecary um, medicine cabinet, and I hope that inspires you to organize your um, medicine cabinets at home, and I hope that you have a blessed and healthy day. Bye now.